Hey guys, what is up? Ioki here bringing you some brand new Tank Senna tech in Season 13. We have got possibly the ultimate version of Sen uh, Tank Senna with the brand new Iceborne Gauntlet into Ravenous Hydra. Uh, it is absolutely insane, and I can't wait to show you guys how to carry your games with it, because I'm going to carry mine with it. But uh, yeah, so basically the idea behind Tank Senna is what it's always been. Like The idea is that you are less squishy, which means that you can get out more damage over a long period of time. Uh, so actually, technically, by building tank, you kind of do like more damage over the long term. But yeah, you're less of a liability. You're able to walk up and trade more, which gives you more souls. Uh, you're able to bring kind of like a level of utility to your team because you can face check bushes. And uh, also your auto attacks are going to slow with Iceborne Gauntlet. So yeah, really, really good ever since they reworked this item. And then the new Ravitus Hydra is just like, I mean, everyone is building it. It's so, it's so freaking broken. So yeah, brand new version of Tank Senna. Can't wait to show you guys how effective it is. I missed some, missed some XP, so I'm not able to uh, capitalize on the level two punish there though. Not bad though. But yeah, I, I've played this build once so far and it is absolutely bonkers. I think I still did the most damage or like first or second most damage. And uh, yeah, this is a really, really good game to show it to you guys because they're going to have a lot of AD damage. Actually, I think their Siobhan is going to be going AP, but the build gives you some health too. So even if they do have like several AP threats, you're still tanky against them as well. Uh, I actually really like the Senna into Morgana matchup. Yeah, guys, let me know down in the comments. Do you guys like playing Tank Senna? I absolutely love it, as I'm sure you guys know. Might be able to get her flash there. Nice. Oh, my ADC took a turret shot. Dude, this is so much trading in the bot lane. I kind of I kind of love this lane. Both teams are kind of just going balls out. Yeah, like I said, let me know down in the comments if you liked uh, Tank Senna. Do you guys think this is the best version of Tank Senna yet? Uh, I genuinely think that it might be. But as for the runes, guys, we, there are a um, minor adjustments to the runes for this new build. We got Fleet Footwork, Presence of Mind, Legend Alacrity, Coup de Grasse, Second Wind, Revitalize, AD Armor, MR. Figured it'd be nice to go uh, Second Wind and Revitalize. Just to, just to bring, you know, one more, one, one more level of... Uh, tankiness and survivability here. Um, I think that's going to be their Shivana down here. Go ahead and flop a ward just to make sure. But she can't duel me without her ADC here, so... Uh, the good news about Tank Senna is I actually think that it scales way, way better even than just like full AD Senna. It definitely scales better than Lethality Senna. So I'm not really in any sort of a uh, hurry. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I can flash on her. Thought about flash W in. Yeah, we're not really in any sort of hurry. We're, di we're just kind of scaling up. We're just getting as many souls as we can, taking his trades as often as we can, and we are going to be rushed. We're not going Umbro, we're not going Boots of Swiftness. We're going to be going Merc Treads, Iceborne Gauntlet, and Ravenous Hydra, and oh my god, just... Just wait until you see how freaking tanky that it makes me. Oh, I'm not going to be able to get this, am I? No. Oh. Haha. <laughs> you don't have a choice. I'm going to shove this ASAP. And now we'll go back. I yeah, definitely don't want to, uh, to leave the lane like this. Alright, we got 1k gold. Let's go back. Uh, one of the nice things about building this is that your very first component is going to be a sheen. So you're walking into lane with like some actual really, really good damage items. Grab that. We're going to grab, go ahead and grab boots. And we'll swap out our trinket for red trink so we can get some bush control. All right. So kind of looking ahead, um, I'm going to be able to position like way, way, way fo more forward against like Zed because I've got exhaust and I'm going to be tanky. We're gonna be able to just walk up, auto him, basically force him to jump on me, and then he's not gonna be able to kill me, so he's gonna get really tilted. That monster wants to hear me scream. He can keep waiting. Hmm. Given Shivana an early dragon, probably not ideal, but.
All right, we see Shivana going back. I'm I'm definitely down to like start 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 looking to fight here. I'm actually, probably kill this Ash. And not kill, but oh my gosh, we actually almost did kill her. Cracked. Not bad. Got some lane domination going on here. Oh. Ah, uh, she got the spell shield on for the slow. You little rat. Uh, Zed is missing. Not sure where Zed's at. Okay, he's, he's actually topside. Oh, we'll pump a Q into Varus. Just, just one little pump in him. Nice, there we go, baby. Uh, it's only level five. I got a rooted. Wait, we actually didn't need to be scared there. If, if Varus is a little braver, we actually could have killed the Ash. Yeah, they they just cannot kill us. Not without Shivana's level six. We're gonna poke her down to make sure she doesn't have enough health to go into level six, and we are looking pretty here. An easy dive onto the ash. Oh my god. Yo, Kindred, please. Kindred, please get off the grob. Oh my god. Yo, that was like literally the easiest double kill for Kindred ever. Oh, Silas got it though. Nice. I don't get an assist, unfortunately. And she didn't even get the grump. How funny is that? Bye bye. It's Morgana's flash. Beautiful. Edgar gonna go for something here. Oh. I'm down to literally auto attack, so probably can't do anything. All right, we go back. Dude, look how much like healing my fleet foot footwork and like second wind has given me. Actually, pretty crazy. 155 bonus healing from Revitalize. Kinda cracked. I see myself in them, in the eyes of the people I save. In the darkness. Uh, I've got ulti looking for this. Oh, yo, that Shivana's only level 7. She is struggling. Or level 5, I meant. Although, our, I guess our drone is level 5, too. Yo, ult that, bro. Ult that, bro. They're right in your faces. I mean, just like... Look how look how like forward positioning I can be I can be. Nice. Nice. There we go, baby. See, no need to be afraid, Varus. You got tank Cinna backing you up, baby. I mean, once they let me get those licks in off early, like it, it was too late for them to turn, you know? Not bad though, boys. We scaling, we scaling. I've almost got my mythic. Getting lots of good juicy plate gold. Silas on a bit of a rampage. Nice. Doing a really good job of like maximizing our damage using only our auto attacks because we're pretty much out of mana. Uh, I can go back and I can sell my control wards and get Iceborne. That might just be the play. I want to get a reset like literally right now so we can be ready to fight for Dragon. All right, should be our Dragon. Javana ulted. Nice, nice, nice. Oh! I don't know about that one, Silas. 
No, Silas is. Oh my gosh, we fought. We fought before I could get there. No, so sad. Well, we can play for steal with Varus Q. It's actually pretty good at stealing objectives. It's our sweeper. Get rid of this bad boy. All right, we got Iceborne Gauntlet now. So now, not only do my Q slow, I can walk up and auto attack him, and it's a big AOE slow. Which is really, really nice, obviously. Just kind of slowing them down. It kind of, kind of, you know what it feels like? It feels like they put the original Cinna build where you used to go Glacial Augment and like slow on your auto attacks. It's like a better version of that. Slower, get the cannon. See that, that's the freaking field. So like when I'm walking up and auto attacking them, it's just going to like slow their entire team. Okay, we force them to stay in lane. With tank center, you want to you want to play it nice and slow, nice and controlled, right? Keep the pace of the game like slow, because you're not going to be like literally one shotting people. You're not, but you are going to be able to do this. It's like boom, boom. You know what I mean? Easy. Okay, Siobhan is down here, bud. Yeah, I don't really take damage, do I, bro? <laughs> Wait, I did not take damage from Ash there. Literally just standing in her face trading blows. Uh-oh. They're starting to realize I'm a little tanky, aren't I? Yeah, at this point, I can kind of just position wherever I want. So next item, we're going to be going kind of like a little bit of a weird item for a tank build. But it's more about like the lifesteal and uh, just how broken the item is in general. We're going to be going Ravenous Hydra. Lucky duck. Yeehaw, baby! Slow her. Boom. Anything, Varus? No! Yes! Oh my god, I lived! I freaking lived! No way, I thought the arrow was gonna do me in there. 404 at 14 minutes, not freaking bad, guys. Alright, let's go for the Wrath Hydra. So, yeah, I mean, I'm sure you've seen, like, pretty much everyone in every role building this item. Samira's so building it, like, Graves is building it. Literally, just everyone's building uh, Ravenous Hydra. Um, as for the boots, I think we'll go Merc Treads. Just gonna kind of delay our Hydra a little bit, but... Is that enough? Not quite. All right, time to truly limit test this build, guys. We are going turbo limit test. We're just gonna walk in their faces and literally just kill them. Quick. Want this? Are you sure you want this? See, that's the thing about tank set is like, I can get in their faces and like force them to go in. And if they don't go in, I just get free damage on them. Look at all these souls too. I feel like, I feel like you get a much higher rate of souls too, like just because you can walk up and like trade literally whenever. Oh no, a turret shot! Oh no, a turret shot! Oh, I love tank cinema, man. I I love going tank on like champions that obviously aren't supposed to build tank. Okay. Yo, I'ma be real. I don't want them to FF before I get my Ravenous Hydra, so we're, we're, we're gonna be doing a little equalizing here. 
That's another yeehaw, though. Can we get the Shibata? We can. All right, we gave him a 1k shutdown. Hopefully, they don't FF now. All right, we got Ravenous Hydra up next. I think it's probably better to go, like, Caulfield's Warhammer. The Vamp Scepter. And let's go play for this next dragon. Oh, wait, they're up two dragons. There's no way they're FFing. Look at this. 650 damage to champions. And, like, it doesn't actually take into consideration, like, how many extra autos I'm able to get just because I'm able to position like this. I'm literally just able to walk in their faces. And that's extra damage, too. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's it's pretty broken. Because, like, if I, if I was going Kraken Slayer, I'd have to stand way back, wait for the fight to start, you know, go in into the fight, get off an auto or two, run away. I'd have to really be looking as to, like, when I can enter the fight. Slow. Got the root. Boom. Boom. Goodbye. I'm in their faces. Look, you, th you think I can do this with lethality, Senna? No. It's not possible. Well, it's it's not recommended. I guess it's possible, but... Boom. Boom. Better slow. They have three dragons. They're one. They're one away from soul. <laughs> oh, that would have been so cool if I landed that. No. Oh, she still dies. <laughs> All right, we got we got our full hydra now. I'm gonna give I'm gonna give him another another freebie. I'm feeling a little bad for him, guys. Tank Sen is just too broken. Literally, the only way that it can die is if you die on purpose. Mm, I got him rooted. Get in there, boys. All right, we got full Rev Hydra now. Eight hundred forty damage from my tank item. So just just for just for like comparison's sake, everyone else is mythic, like. Morgana, who can proc Leandris really, really efficiently. 375 damage. Divine Sunder hasn't done any damage. 464 from, from Ludens. Like, why am I doing more damage with my tank item than they are with their damage items? Oh. Goodbye. All right, let's do some uh, let's do some ravenousing. Rats. Let's do some raving, raving. Get up to them. We need every drag. Oh yeah, hopefully I don't get any drags. We gave Shiv first three drags. Ah. Uh... Kite this out, honestly. I'm so tanky. I'm so actually. I'm, I he's the thing is, if I don't kite, he's gonna heal. Oh my god, bro! Tell me, uh, tell me a Cinnabel that you can do that against a Warwick with. <laughs> actually, so sick. But no back zone, bro. Sorry. One thousand and one hundred one thousand and one damage. Light should teach us not. Okay. Oh also I swapped out cut down since you're actually gonna be building like a pretty decent amount of health. Cut down is usually a really good rune because you proc it on like every champion on Senna because you don't build health items and you have the lowest base health in the game. But I went I went coup de gras this game. Because I actually am building health. Holy god, I just feel invincible, bro. I actually just like feel freaking invincible. 
Nail's dead. Eel, she got ripped in half. Warwick's really like the only fed one on their team though. Oh, he missed his E. Bro, he had him? I, I should have ulted for him. I thought he had him, but he missed his E. I think I love this build, guys. I I might love this build a little bit too much. All right, so for third item, I haven't even thought about what we should, what we should go for, like, third item. Um, This guy is probably all... I think I could actually kill this. But, hey, let's do some limit testing, boys. She just, she, bro, the Ash just walks up and autos me occasionally, realizes that she does no damage to me, and then walks away. I have no mana. I have no mana. No! Oh my god. Bro, this is, this is not balanced. You can run! Get Dread help! Kindred, help me! Bro! No! <laughs> I literally can't die. I literally cannot die. Alright, we go back. We have 3,300 3, damage to, uh... Or 3,300 gold to spend. I Like I said, I haven't even thought about, like, what we should be going for our third item. I just know these two items together are, like, absolutely insane. I didn't think I'd get this fed. Uh, but if we're gonna go truly tank... I don't know, I feel like we're gonna get like diminishing returns if we go actual tank. Maybe maybe we go like Zonias. A little bit of AP going. Oh yeah. You guys know I love my Zonias. You guys know that. And there's the FF. So you guys, the Zonias Cinna remains 100% win rate. Uh, there it is guys, the brand new, we'll call this like version four of, of Cinna, uh, tank Cinna. Absolutely cracked at the uh, the new Iceborne Gauntlet. Really, really insane. Um, let's take a look at the damage though, because I'm pretty sure we just did more damage. Be be because we're we're not squishy anymore. Like we, we can literally, yeah. I mean, like look at the damage chart. Thirty-seven thousand damage. The closest person on their team was fifteen k, sixteen k. That that I mean, that's just insane. So there's the uh, there's the atomization Iceborne Gauntlet Ravenous Hydra. Absolutely OP combo. Go play it before it gets nerfed into the ground. And uh, there's the runes as well. We'll take a look at uh, healing done. Where we did 16,000 healing. Ally healing, 2,000. Uh, ally shielding. Wait, how did I shield someone? I, w I wonder how I shielded someone. But anyways, damage taken. Look, we took the most damage on our team too. Tank Senna took the most damage. But anyways, if you guys watch this on YouTube, let me know what you guys think of the build strat down in the comments, boys. Take it easy. Peace. Uh...